Hi, day 81 of the 90 day journey and got the video done first thing this morning because it's Sunday and tomorrow uh, I fly out. I'm heading out to Phoenix, Arizona for training, education, networking, just an awesome couple of events that uh, Chris and I are going to be joining. So day 81, got up very early, um, had my 500 ml of water and uh, got straight out, did my meditation and now I'm out here walking, did my 40 minutes of walking this morning, feel really good about it and um, listened to a webinar, a mastermind call, DEA Black Mastermind call with Justin Wolf, and it was back in November 2016. And I recommend anyone in the black community to go ahead and watch that um, video webinar. It was brilliant. He talks about the path of mastery and what it takes and what are you doing to go down that path. So Chris and I, we are committed to the process forever. We made that commitment. We created a marketing plan around that path. We have dedicated dollars to the process and we have also made very many decisions, one around the type of platform that we're going to be using to do our marketing and that is YouTube. We started using YouTube and we will continue to use YouTube and we won't stop using YouTube because I think once you feel that your marketing budget is running out and you say, oh, I can't afford YouTube anymore, you are self-sabotaging and making a decision to step back back from YouTube and in effect what you're doing is actually going backwards. I think once you've made that decision to use a particular platform for your marketing plan, you have to have this mindset or this psychology that says nothing's going to stop you until you see results from that platform. Because I think once you've said mm, the budget's run out, the money's run out, I'm going to find another platform somewhere where it's a bit cheaper and then go down that path of mastery for another platform, you are taking, in effect, a couple of steps backwards. And I think what you're telling your mindset or your subconscious is that mm, that's not working, uh, I've, got to, I've got to find another way, uh, rather than I will pursue this until I see success. I will pursue and just keep going and do whatever it takes to make this happen. Your, by your budget running out and you're seeking other platforms, you're letting circumstances determine your actions. Whereas my mindset would be, and I've had that in business before, is okay, so what does it take? What, what money does it take? What, what budget does it take? Where can I find those funds? Where can I get that budget? And I've been incredibly resourceful in the past to find the funds or get the money to be able to continue my passion and continue that pathway of mastery. A bit like buying USA real estate. Took 10 years of mastery uh, or a path of mastery to be able to get to where I am now. And I got incredibly resourceful with that. I got resourceful with credit cards. I got resourceful with business owners. I got resourceful with partners. It's just you, you, you have to really not let those sort of circumstances determine your fate when it comes to your business. So going down the path of mastery, committing to the process, committing to a marketing plan, putting it in writing, committing to a marketing budget regardless, reinvesting, so this is another, reinvesting the profits made from the um, marketing campaigns and 
so that's always the effect of compounding and these are just some of the things and always stay in training but always make sure that you're doing as well so training to become the expert uh, on YouTube for example uh, pick a target market pick a niche pick a niche area pick a niche keyword pick a niche area that you want to target and become the expert within that area so hopefully that's been helpful today and um, last day today so packing uh, getting organized going to the mall just getting some last minute bits and pieces and I'll be flying out tomorrow so I leave here at 9 a.m. my flight is at midday tomorrow out of Cleveland heading I think I change at Chicago and then I'm down to Phoenix there I meet Chris so she arrives from her long haul flight from Sydney to LA which takes 14 hours and then she's heading straight she's got I think she's got about a five hour layover and then she's from LA down to Phoenix she arrives something like 2 30 in the afternoon I arrive 3 30 in the afternoon she's going to hang out at the airport and then we're going to cab it over to the resort and how awesome that's going to be so that's my share day 81 nine days to go and I'll check in with you again tomorrow. Bye for now.